Hello and welcome to my latest What Sold video. Um, welcome, my name is Trisha and I am an eBay, Poshmark, ThreadUp, and Etsy reseller and my store name is Sandy and Auto. Um, I did drop the ball a little bit last week and didn't put out a video so I'm going to quickly combine two weeks worth into one video. Um, the week of June 23rd through the 29th, I had 12 sales, which is why I kind of didn't feel as though I was going to go ahead and put out a video. Um, and so the week of June 30th through August 5th, um, I did have 16 sales. So we're going to go through all of those and then at the end of the first week I'll go ahead and give the totals and then at the end of the second week I'll give the totals on that one and um, if I forgot to say anything in my intro I apologize and I'll probably jump back if I did forget to say something uh, so in the first week of June of July did I say June July 23rd through 29th. I think I did say June. Um, I had eight eBay sales. And in those eight eBay sales, I had two that sold through promoted listings. And on all of my eBay listings, I do put um, a 2% promoted listing um, in each one. And so of eight, two sold through promoted listings, and then I had four Poshmark sales, which I'm going to go ahead and start with the Poshmark sales. And so up first are these really cute pair of shoes. They're a size seven and a half. They are Chinese shoes, but I, I loved the pattern on them. It's very, very bright, um, really cute with the little ribbon accents and the beads um, kind of work as a strap on those. And uh, these did sell for a, a um, best offer of $19. And next, uh, really cute painted beads. I, I really liked how they had kind of the faces on them. They did remind me of Russian dolls. I didn't really see any indication that they were Russian, but they just had um, that imagery um, that I, I saw in there. I liked how some were just the faces and this one in particular was like a full body. And then on the back, uh, they were painted with just a, a really cute little flower. And, um, and I liked these and I thought that someone else would like them too. And so I did accept a best offer of $9 on those. Uh, this was a, a new without tag because it did have this tag attached to it still. And I figured, well, if somebody had really worn it, they probably would have taken that tag off. Um, and you can see I do kind of try to find some a various um, selection of poses to kind of convey the detailing and size of the scarf. Um, so I do show a lot of different um, in my little makeshift studio. <laughs> I do kind of show a bit of that um, just to kind of give uh, people the idea of how big the scarf is, how wide it is, um, how the design flows through it. This really did have a pretty um, silver metallic uh, that went through it all and made it very shiny and it was a very nice pattern. And so uh, I did accept um, an offer of 13 or maybe I had marked this to $13 on this uh, item. And this was really cute. This probably originally had been like an incense burner or intended um, for that, but I thought this would be like a really nice um, room sachet. Um, you could put it in your drawer, you could put it in a closet, and um, the little, you know, puts a scent of some kind in here. 
and um, then it would be able to flow out through the little holes on top. It was in great condition. There really was no wear on it, no chips or cracks, um, but it was a very small item, and so I did accept an offer of $8 on that. Uh, you can see it was only three and a half inches by three and a half inches and kind of including the handles on that, um, but a really cute piece. And so those were my Poshmark sales for um, for two weeks ago. And now on to eBay sales. Uh, up first is this girl's um, size large, so it's a 10, 12, um, kind of a tankini and bottom set really cute design on there. It did have some wear on it, um, but definitely would be good for, you know, a season or two um, of use. And so I did sell that for $8. And I do want to mention also on all of my eBay sales that the buyer pays shipping on everything, um, unless I do note otherwise, but I don't believe I had anything um, here where the, the buyer didn't pay shipping on that um, next is this dress and it does I did put flaw on here um, because there is a as I mentioned here um, so again depending on whether or not people are using um, websites or apps or anything that this um, condition issue uh, does feature quite high and if there is a flaw of any kind I really do try to put it in here and also in the description so that um, it is seen and this one unfortunately this was a really nice it was clean and in really good condition and a really cute dress and I am sure that a seamstress where is it here a, a good seamstress would be able to just go in and stitch this up it was a nice clean cut in here but it was unfortunately a cut and I did not want to um, repair it in such a way or try to pass it off as being repaired or anything so I felt it was better just to put it at a really low price I did accept a five dollar offer on this item um, just again to send it to a good home who was going to um, hopefully repair it and get some good use out of it because this was a really cute dress Uh, next item is this uh, kind of open cardigan. Had this nice ombre effect with the yellow being um, darker at the top, going down to a lighter and lighter uh, yellow into a very pale yellow. This was a size small, but you could see it's kind of an oversized um, small. And this one, I um, it did sell for the sale price of $16.99, and this one did sell through a promoted listing. Next item, this one got a lot of attention, um, and this one was also cross-posted. I do cross-post most items. Um, from eBay into Poshmark. So this was cross-referenced on or cross-posted on both sites and it got a lot of interest, lots of likes, lots of watches. Um, I did send out offers and all that good stuff. I did have someone um, offer 45 for this and I did accept that offer. It was a size medium, but you could see being um, flax and kind of that lagging look that it was very oversized, um, but it was, you know, it'd be great for summer into fall um, because it had the long sleeves, but it would be nice and flowy and airy. <clears throat> Next up is this Maurice's top. Um, this was really nice because of this um, design that was um, put into the sleeves, which I did take another um, look at um, with the picture so you could see the full design. And the sleeves were nice and open. Um, there was some stitching down towards the bottom here, but still very nice open sleeves. It was a size large slash extra large, their sizes. Um, no no um, condition issues at all in this, um, so it was a very nice piece. And this one, um, I did accept a best offer of $12 
on this item. Um, and this was a fun one to find. Um, this is done by Her, Univor Her Universe Think Geek. I'm going to try to get, uh, did I take a close up? I must have taken a close up here of the label. So it is a Star Trek outfit. It is by Her Universe um, and it does say Think Geek um, in here. And it is kind of that Ensign's, um, oops, here we go. Nope, there we go. The Ensign um, red dress um, could also have been like an Ohura type costume. Um, never too early to start listing um, things that could be Halloween costumes, as um, not sure how people are going to quite celebrate Halloween this year, how that's going to go, but it never hurts to be prepared. Um, and this was a really, really fun dress I thought and it was a size extra large um, it was new with tags and so I could not pass that one up and this one sold for I'm not sure I did not take good notes on this one uh, to know if I sent out an offer on this but it did sell for $34.99 and I it might have been an additional sale price on that one, but it did sell for $34.99, which I thought was a very good price for this item. Next is this Free People um, tank top. Very um, oversized, um, had some really nice tiering in here with the um, kind of ruffly effect and really pretty lace design on that. It was a size large um, and again being you know again slightly oversized um, for being a large and I did accept a best offer of $20 on this one. And the last sale for the first week are these um, Halloween set of three uh, lenticular portraits. Um, these have been um, selling really well all year and are really fun uh, pickup. And these did sell uh, for $22.49 and um, they did sell through a promoted listing. And uh, so for the week of, this is July 23rd through July 29th, I did have 12 sales. My cost of goods, which I annual annual average to $2.25 an item came out to a total of $27. My fees, um, including PayPal, um, eBay, and Poshmark fees was $42.69. My total sales were $213.46 and a total profit of $157.66. And this was unfortunately about half of um, my sales total from the previous week. Sales were down considerably, um, which, you know, with everything that's going on in the state of the economy. Um, I am very thankful for every sale that I have and totally understand why sales were down a bit. Now on to this last week, which is July 30th through August 5th. Um, I did have 16 sales and I had seven eBay sales. And again, two of those were sold through the promoted um, listings and I had nine Poshmark sales. So um, a lot more Poshmark sales than the previous week. So up first of the eBay sales for last week is this Alex top, which is a brand I, I hate to say I am not familiar with, um, but I really liked the design on this one. And this was a 3X and I just thought it was really pretty. Um, very nice, could be dressed up, um, could also be casual, very versatile top. And I did accept a best offer of $16 on this. And again, with my previous week, all of the buyers paid shipping on items. Um, next up is this bikini, um, really cute um, ASOS uh, black bikini. 
um, nice um, little string details on here with the way that they crisscrossed. Um, I took a little better picture of them, um, of the crisscross. And uh, this was a size six. And these I took a best offer of uh, $20 on these. And I was going to show the. There's a picture of the back. Really cute back on these. Um, this was a really fun find. Um, people, I, I have seen this poster for years and years and years, and I found this really cute compact um, with this black cat design on it. And um, again, this was a very popular item. Um, this was a really pretty gold back. Um, it had the dual mirrors on the inside on that. So really pretty case. And this one, um, I sent out an offer to Likers, taking another 10% off. So it sold for $10.79. And um, this was a cute top. This is by Love Fire. Uh, it's an extra large, although it was kind of a snugger extra large. And what I do in all of my um, listings is I do take um, and put uh, measurements in here. Um, so I do include down here kind of some basic measurements so people can get an idea of how it's going to fit. This one I felt maybe would fit maybe a little more like a large than maybe an extra large. Um, but I did like this design on here with kind of the black lace over the um, nude interlay fabric. I thought that was very pretty and well done on uh, this design. Very, again, a, a very versatile design that could be dressed up or uh, also casual. And uh, this one, I sent out an offer to Likers on this one, another 10% off. And so it sold for $11.51. Uh, this was a really cute Nora Taki um, dish, um, probably like either a celery um, dish size. Um, the nice um, lake scene with the um, tree and the little swan in there. This did have a little bit of wear right here in the gold uh, where it had probably been um, grabbed multiple times. Um, the other side wasn't quite as worn as uh, this side. Uh, so interesting how <laughs> um, you never quite know how an item is going to be used. And uh, this one, I did uh, send offers to Likers and took another 10% off. And so it sold for $10.79. And this one also sold through a promoted listing. And here is the um, Noritake hand-painted Made in Japan stamp on the back. Uh, this is a Bob Mackie, could be a jacket, could be worn as a shirt, um, size medium. It was silk. Uh, the design was just gorgeous on here. Beautiful, beautiful design on here. Unfortunately, um, being silk, it did have a few areas, and I tried to show them kind of here in the picture. That one had just a little bit. Um, but in the back, it was a little more noticeable that it had this kind of spottiness to it. Um, and so I did mark that down, and I did end up taking a best offer of $5 on this one. Um, hopefully that uh, someone will um, be able to either wear it or repurpose it, because I thought that was a really fun design on uh, that one. And my last eBay sale for last week was this ember sleeveless um, dress. Um, again, lovely design. I'm, I am just drawn to the colors and, and all that fun stuff. I, I love that these kinds of outfits. 
And so I definitely am always looking for these kind to pick up. Um, but I thought this was a great design for summer. Um, just very nice, comfortable, um, cute design in the back. And here is the tag on that one. And uh, this one, I did take a best offer of $10 on this dress. And now on to Poshmark. Uh, so this is a Banana Republic uh, skirt. And I liked this one um, because it was a size 12 tall. And I know that there are definitely a lot of people out there who are looking for um, tall when it is offered. And I love um, this kind of special detailing you get with Banana Republic. Um, this one in particular, and I do believe I got, I guess I didn't take an extra close up picture, um, but I really liked this little panel in the front here with the stitching. And then it was nice down here. I took a picture to show that it was lined, it was vented and it was lined, um, which I think is just kind of the nice extra touches you get from, um, you know, Banana Republic and others, but I, I really like that about their skirts. And so this one did sell for $20. Um, next up is a bundle of two tops, this um, Time and True tank top, very, very basic um, tank top, but again, I loved the design. I just, I just thought that was just way um, too much fun um, to leave that behind, even though I knew it would sell for a very low price, but I just thought that was way too cute. And that ended up selling with this top also. Um, this one, unfortunately, had a little spot right here. You can see just a little bit, and I did get um, another shot here of it, again, showing the detailing. I just love the stripes and the polka dots together, uh, and with the ruffling. That was just, again, so cute. And down here, um, oh yeah, this is White House Black Market, um, if I didn't mention. I got another little close-up here. This is about an inch um, long, and um, it is in the back part of the collar, which does make it a little bit harder to see when you're actually wearing it. And so I was hoping that someone um, would also agree that uh, that was just a really, really cute top and uh, deserved a second life. And so both of those tops together, um, I did bundle for $18. And next are these um, Dex Flex um, open toe shoes with the cork heel. And I really, I don't know as though these had really ever been worn. They were so clean on the inside. Um, yeah, they just, they were in great condition. I, I would be very surprised if these had ever been worn, but a nice cork wedge on those. And these were a size eight, um, eight wide. So give your um, foot a little breathing room on those. And so those did sell for $20. And these um, BDG Urban Outfitter, um, Luckily on the inside, it did say that they were the low rise dolphin. I would not have known that on my own had it not been for the label. They were a size 28 waist. And again, I did put in some of the um, measurements in here. Um, just a really cute pair of cutoffs and those sold for $15. Um, this coat, um, I, don't even remember really how I came about this um, quote. Not really uh, men's um, suit jackets. That's not really my area of expertise. And this brand um, seemed to be just, um, you know, a fairly average um, brand, um, kind of an average size. And so I did um, reasonably price it and I did get an offer for $10 on this. And I thought, you know what, 
somebody is going to need this jacket, um, you know, for work or for some other occasion, and I am going to um, let it go for ten dollars um, to again to a good home, and um, hopefully it will um, get some really good use out of it. And uh, next is this orca um, whale print with a lighthouse. I did take a little closer picture here. Um, nice, not quite distressed white frame, probably just a little bit of distressing because of it being at a thrift store, but it was signed on the back um, with the artist and information. Um, and I just, really thought that this was i i love picking up art um at thrift stores if i can get it for a a good price i love it um i have art all over my house and i think people really are especially now um looking for that one little thing to add to their house and art is a great way to do that and so this one did sell for $20 and, um, and yeah, it's just a really, really nice accent piece. And the last sale I have is this absolutely gorgeous vintage Olga nightgown. Um, this is probably from the 90s, might even be from the 80s, but from the lay look of the label, I would say that it was probably from the 90s, all the way down to the floor. Beautiful lace detailing on this and um, you know, it, it just flowed really nicely. Um, nice full skirt on this. And then here is the label on this. Um, but really, really nice design on this one. And um, I did accept a best offer of $69 on this one. And again, included as much of the measurements as I could and the fabric content as I do on kind of all of my listings and this was a size medium if I did not mention that beforehand and so those were the 16 sales from this last week which was July 30th through August 5th and that was 16 items so my cost of goods annual averaged at $2.25 each was $36 even. My fees were $58.13. My total sales were $283.09 and my profit was $190.60, which is up just about 33% from the previous week. And, um, you know, again, hoping that the um, next round of stimulus checks and extended unemployment goes out soon so people are um, maybe a little more optimistic about spending a little more money out there. Um, but again, so thankful for every sale um, out there. Truly appreciate it. Um, you know, helping, helping trying to grow um, my business for sure. And I know that there are, you know, so many others out there who are also trying to um, grow their, um, you know, their own businesses out there um, to, uh, I don't know, try, try to find some certainty um, in kind of the um, employment and economic situation out there. Uh, so thank you for watching uh, this video. Hope you are staying safe and able to enjoy uh, the summer out there. And um, I will um, be seeing you next week with another update on uh, everything that sold. And if you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing to my uh, channel and appreciate a like on the way out. And if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave those behind and I will see you next time.